Star Wars Weekend's host, James Arnold Taylor. Come back at 6.30 and see me and Obi-Wan will be on. Yes? Yes! A couple of you. Thank you. Oh, good. Well, okay. But right now, cheap plug, sorry. We are here to see an exclusive to Star Wars Weekend, a visit to the mall featuring the man, the Sith, the legend, Mr. Ray Park. We have some Ray Park fans. Yes? <laughs> That's the kind of energy Ray, Ray needs right now because that is going to get you pumped and do more for you than ever before. So, I want to watch him in action, but I want to see him in action on these screens first. Take a look. It's so great. 
That is so get, awesome. Get up the telephone, sir. Yeah, huh? The two of you should have like a sitcom, like a wacky sitcom. <laughs> Lady and Dark, you know. Oh, okay, okay, anyways. Well, it is great to have you back here for a visit to the mall. And, uh, you know, we've got so many cool things to talk about. But, I don't know, let's, uh, let's take it back to when you were just a, uh, a mini mall. <laughs> That's a good shot of me. That's cute. Now that that would explain. Right? So, yeah. Mommy, give me my milk. Ow! Oh, so I slice you in half with my two big keys. <laughs> but now, actually, going back to the real beginning, there, you were a martial arts champion before you got the role of Darth Maul. Yes. And this is a very, very humble man that does not like to go on about himself. But I want to hear about it. You want to hear about it, right? <laughs> Some of these champions, because there's some really cool championships here that you have. So, oh, sure. thank you. Yeah. I was a member of the Great Britain Wushu team from, from, from 15 onwards, and uh, I've been doing martial arts since I was seven, Chinese Kung Fu, and all the animal styles, and praying mantis, and, you know, and uh, I, got into, I got into martial arts because I wanted to be like Jackie Chan and Bruce Lee, especially Bruce Lee. And, uh, and then one day I found out that I could actually work with Jackie Chan if I learned Wushu. So I, I, looked, I, I searched for a Wushu master and tried to be the best I could be and uh, I won British championships, European and international and world championships. And I love it. I love practicing. It is fantastic. It is really fantastic. Yeah. It is all the time. Thank you. And now another, another one that you do is called Long Fist. Yeah. So what, what is Long Fist? Because that's kind of what it's yeah. Long fist. Long fist. I thought there's a complete weird reason. That's what I said. That was the fifty-two percent. That's it. And then another guy has the. I'm going to get you with tongs on my prey mantis. Yeah. I'd be the guy going, I'm going to get you with my long fist. <laughs> awesome. And I can do the voice for it. Yeah, so you do that, I'll do the voice. I am flying dumb. I will cut you with my long fist. So I'm going to my bed. Okay, we can keep it. We can keep it. Okay, good. We're going to move together. I'm going to have to speak the word again in my life. Oh, man. Okay, so, but um, now, long fist, can we get any demonstration of long fist? We need to do a lot there. Can you give us like a formal thing of what might happen in a. Competition? Sure, well, I'm wearing my pajamas, I might as well. Right. So, do you need anything for me here? Sure. No, just stand up. Yeah, so, okay, very good. I'll oh, do that. Right. Okay, go for it. Let's hear it for the yeah. 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 So cool, so fast. 
there's something there that we're noticing for the first time, especially if you're looking at you practicing for the first time. Your lightsaber hilt is much longer than everybody else's. Sure. And there's a story behind that, isn't there? Yes, it? accidentally. Okay, can you tell us about how that came about? Well, what, uh, what, what Ryan, before I got part of Darth Maul, I saw a picture of Darth Maul, so I was telling Nick Gillard and George of the ideas and things I could do with a lightsaber, because I was going to use bow staff and, and a few other weapon ideas that I had from Chinese martial arts. So when I got the part, I was given a lightsaber and the handles of a regular single saber. I got really scared. I thought I was going to lose my job. I was 21. I didn't know how to explain this. And I thought, oh, I'm going to put my foot in my mouth. Yeah. I'm going to lose it. So I went to George. And George knew there was something else because he could sense and he could see I was nervous. Sure. And uh, he just asked me what the problem was. And, I was whole, and I, in a roundabout way, I asked him if I could have the lightsaber as wide as my waist. And he said, well, we right, just flip it. So, you know, it became the size it is. And I wasn't going to argue with George. Sure. You know, because I wanted a particular size. Yeah, you don't want it smaller because then you have that problem that Obi Wan and you had. You said, half. Oh, yeah. see, no, no, it's a joke. It's just a joke. <laughs> that wasn't me. That was another Obi Wan Kenobi. I just do the voices in the cartoons, all right? Good. No. Uh, so, it really made for an awesome. New lightsaber, though, something we've never seen, and I think we have Ray Park to thank uh, quite a bit for that, as well as George Lucas, but oh, sure. very cool, but because of those movements in martial arts. So, thank you, Ray, for making a very cool lightsaber. Thank you, George Lucas. That's right. Now, all these different swords and the weaponry and all that is that is a craft within itself within martial arts, indeed. Yes? Yeah, you have to start off with chopsticks, knife and fork and spoon. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah. And then you really do. Then you get onto the towel technique. The towel, okay. Oh, yeah. all right, okay. I'm gonna be it's cool. <laughs> Nunch up the towel. towel. All right, see, well, now I remember this in, in junior high. I did too much. So, okay. No, no, it's okay. Did anyone go? <laughs> no, no, I don't know anything about that. <laughs> Bad memories. No. But it would be really cool if you had brought some some weapons, some sharp, pointy things. Wouldn't it have been cool if you had brought something? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Now, okay, what is this called? This is a Puda or Kwanda. Kwanda? Yes. Puda. Okay. So, this is more of a Puda, but the Kwanda is bigger. But it's named oh, after General oh, Kwan. Okay. All right. Uh, he, he, was fam he was famously known for having this weapon when he would go into battle. And apparently, he would use it to strike down the other foot soldiers or strike down the horses oh, in battle. Sure, that's uh, and it reminds me of like in the desert scene with you and Liam Neeson. Yes, doing it because the moves that you're making is that one that you use then to kind of practice with. I use this, this weapon, this technique because because of the handle size. Yeah, I thought George was going to go back to a single handle and I can go back to the Dina Hushu style. <laughs> so I was stuck with a big handle. Yeah, so I was like, oh yeah, I really put my foot in my mouth. <laughs> so I used a lot of techniques from this when I was fighting with uh, Liam. Uh, that's cool. And can you use this around the house at all or anything? Yeah, I cut the grass with this all the time. Okay. <laughs> I imagine it's like Jedi grass. <laughs> Jedi grass! Oh, yes. Yeah. Jedi grass! <laughs> no, no. Okay. Let's do it here too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mine doesn't look as good on this side. I don't get it. I don't look. Oh, no, I still don't look like you. And what's this? What's this? Uh, there. I uh, have no idea what these are for. <laughs> <laughs> but they look cool. They're kind yeah, of scary. Yeah. Cool. yeah. All right. Do you have anything else? Do you have something else? I do. Oh, look at that. Okay. This is um. That's like a standard sword, then, right? What is that? This is a broadsword. A broadsword. Okay. A Chinese broadsword, and this is a wushu broadsword. It's not a traditional kung fu broadsword. Whereas a traditional kung fu broadsword would be solid, mm -hmm. and it wouldn't crack. Unless you're 100 years old and you're a grandmaster. Really? So that's the blade making that noise. Yes. And the power of my force. Well, yeah, well, of course. Yes. <laughs> I don't doubt that for a second. Cool. Like my kids used to say, a sword is only extension of your hand. <laughs> that's right, it is. It's good. Well, okay, so maybe we can get a demonstration of the extension of your hand there with the sword. Yes? Yes! It is so cool to see you do all this. So, okay, uh, something for me again? All right, over there. All right, that's my thoughts. Thank you.
told me once that you, you did that because you didn't know those guys were on strings when you were watching as a kid. I didn't know there was anything like a special effect or wire work when I was a kid. Everything I saw in films, I believed. So I cranked it. <laughs> and when you did it, I mean, it's like you're just like sideways doing it. It's awesome to see. Thank you. Wow. And okay, so now you've played many other uh, characters, and uh, oh, well, yeah, I'm sure. Put that away, please, because it makes me nervous. But um, many characters in black. We've got a lot of guys, although we got Darth Maul. And you've got, well, the Headless Horseman. Remember uh, Sleepy Hollow? Anybody see Headless Horseman? So now, Christopher Walken played the Headless Horseman when he had a head. And you were him without a head. Now, I've done Christopher Walken's voice for movies and games. So I've got his voice, so if you maybe put my head on your body, you'd have one Christopher Walken right here. Yeah, it's crazy. I play uh, you know, martial arts. No, I don't know. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> oh, it's really good. It was good. It's fine, yeah. So, uh, okay, but then there's another man in black that I think we all know and love, and that is Snake Eyes. <laughs> G.I. Joe 2, Retaliation in theaters, awesome, awesome stuff, you put the uniform back on, how did that feel? It was great to be back here, Snake, I put a new armor, and uh, he was a childhood toy of mine, and to sort of be that toy in real life, yeah. do some awesome stunts, and get to use my martial arts, and work with Dwayne Johnson, Bruce Willis, and that was awesome. Well, let's take a look at you being awesome, watch these screens right now. It's where I get to, it, the brawl I showed, showed you in another way from the Chinese martial arts are different from this. So in secret, I always had one of these in my toy collection, and I'd always practice. Because you weren't supposed to then, like, your, your teachers, your masters would be like, no, you can't do that. Yeah, because it's not in the style that we practice, so I always wanted to be a ninja, I always wanted to be a samurai, I always wanted to be that, you know, the warrior in the village, you know, taking out someone with a stare. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try it. Give, give, me, give me that stare. And then, and then you slice them half, you don't see the blade moving. And then he's like... <laughs> <laughs> attitude. It's all about attitude. It's that very good. It's from still, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> That's very good. So, you are a master in this. I'm imagining you're a really good teacher as well. I hope so. I know you're not going to teach your own horn, but you are a good teacher. Thank you. Do you think you could teach just about anybody? Yes. Anyone who's willing. All right. I'm glad you said that because I want to invite some people on stage right now. Folks on this side and this side with the wristbands on. Come on up to your master class with Mr. Ray Park. Let's hear it for Mr. Ray Park. It's like, it didn't do that when I got it. Can I put this in? Is that cool? Because we're, we're not, I'm not going to do double blade lightsaber right now. But maybe one day I'll show you how to use it. Is that cool? Can we just put it here? 
Yeah, we'll put it aside for now. Any other lightsabers? Because you I know, won't steal it. I have one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we can sign it for you. How about that? Oh, very nice. Okay. Good. Yes, that's very nice. <laughs> He's like, score! Yeah, I'm tricked <laughs> Okay, so great. Uh, what do we what do we do first? What's our first step in this class? Okay, first things first. You want to listen? What you got a cell phone on, sir? Yes, sir. I'm on stage three part. No, seriously. <laughs> uh, hello, mom. Yeah, I'm on set right now, sir. Yeah, I have baking some toast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have to have baking some toast later, though. All right. <laughs> okay. Cool. Okay. All right. Very good. So, what's our first move? Our right, first thing I want you guys to do is feet together, hands by your side, chest out, and say, "Shut!" And from here, you're gonna bow to mom and dad. Yeah. Okay, that's good. I'm finished, guys. Yeah, that's good. Ladies <laughs> and gentlemen, very hard. <laughs> The power of the hose. That's all I, I, I get anything excited. You know? I love it. Okay. All right. So, uh, and, and so that's nice. We're relaxed. We're kind of loose. Well, what's, what's the next step? Okay. Feet apart. Good. And now we're going to move it. Move it. <laughs>
Now, Ray, you know, I feel kind of, you know, I do the voice of Johnny Tess on the cartoons, Johnny Tess. It was totally awesome. So I feel really excited. Aren't you guys excited to be on stage with me? Mark, isn't this totally awesome? Yeah! Come on, yeah. Let's get excited! Like so cool. All right. Okay, so now... Thank you. Thank you. Keep applause. Thank you. My family is here. Come on. <laughs> now, now I feel like Elvis here with the... Okay. I've got my bicycle. Just, uh, I don't know. Okay. So what do we do? We do we open these up? Do we activate them? You can. Everyone can. I'm sure you guys know how to use a lightsaber. So I want you to use the button with this thumb and activate it in front, not to the side. Oh no, red's not my color. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know. We have something. Well, let's see. What's wrong with red? Uh, oh. <laughs> Much better. Okay. All right. Since we have a Jedi, touch. <laughs> <laughs> I have a bad feeling about this. I'd be a joke earlier. Yeah, yeah, here's your picture right now. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we got our series. Now, what, what do we do now? Okay, we're going to do the, we're gonna do the routine I just showed you with the lightsaber this time. No playing with each other's lightsabers, please. No poking each other. I'll make you do 10 press ups. I'm serious. Feet together. Chest up. Hands by your side. Bring your palms up. Drop your feet in the full stance. This time we have the force, okay? We have a lightsaber on the hands. Okay, we're going to strike the rain cloud. Open up the rain cloud. Gather up the thunder. Okay, come on, shake. We're going to shout from 3, 2, 1. Ready? 3, 2, 1. Together, bring your palms up. Jump your feet out to wall stance. Strike the rain cloud. Open up the rain cloud. Gather up the thunder. Three, two, one. Yeah! Oh, cool. cool, I like it. Really looking good. You think we got one more in us? Sure. Oh. This is the last time to get your cameras ready, take some video, take some pictures. Make sure you do a great job with your mom and dad's out there, okay? And shout as loud as you can. Okay, let's do this. Feet together. Hands by your side, birthday boy. Chest out. Okay, hands up. Full stops. Strike rain cloud. Open up the rain cloud. Gather the thunder. Ready? Three, two, one. Do your own pose, any pose you want to do. Okay, are you ready? Three, two, one, pose! Finish the same way we began, okay? So feet together, 
And by side, did I say deactivate your lights? No, so only listen to the Sith. Don't listen to the Jedi here. Yeah? There's already stopping that. <laughs> Come on, Sith apprentices. Okay, from here, you're going to bow again. You're going to say thank you to your mum and dad, grand and granddads, and auntie and uncles. So say thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. <laughs> Well done, everyone. Well done. Thank okay, you. now. Well done. Yes, you can applaud for them. They are awesome. <laughs> so now, let's deactivate these lightsabers. We're going to turn them in to our lovely assistants in the back here. And then when you leave the stage, you are going to get something that is very cool. A certificate signed by Mr. Ray Park himself. <laughs> so let's deactivate those lightsabers. Take them back there and get your certificate, and let's hear it for them as they make them back. It says, you have successfully opened the rain cloud, gathered the thunder, and unleashed the lightning with this to Ray Paul. Congratulations. How cool. Awesome. Okay. Super stuff, Ray. Let's hear it for one last time here, huh? Ray, this is fun. You know what I love about this show? When we get to this, I get to be like a kid. I'm jumping around, I'm doing all this stuff. But that's that's how you've taken life, is you it's like live it to the fullest. And can you share with us a little of your, your thoughts on life and, and how to go about being successful? Sure. Uh, another story I just remembered was I got to a point in my martial arts where I got scared and it was a block, or when I got my first movie job, I stopped being creative, I stopped trying to do things, I, I played on a safe level, and then I watched kids play on a trampoline with no fear, and just going and having fun, and smiling and giggling, and whenever they fell, they never hurt themselves, because they were relaxed, they didn't, they didn't know of fear or hurt themselves, so I sort of used that mentality and play and my kids teach me a lot to this day so I just say do whatever you can you know believe in yourself stop being a kid all Peter Pan's and Wendy's and just have fun and uh, and the kids give you energy too you know so it's well and you give us an energy that I think is undeniable ladies and gentlemen Mr. Ray Park <laughs> oh,